went out with the turning team today and we've just approached people to tell them about the gospel of Jesus and say the script to them and hopefully they pray the prayer of salvation. For me, it was kind of a thing that I had a fear about in the first place. I've not really kind of done anything like that before. I spoke to a guy in particular who said he'd been in the church his whole life, but it was more a forced kind of routine thing. It wasn't like anything that he felt personal meaning about or anything special with God about. He just said he was just going to church because he'd been there since he was like very young. And I said to him, look, would you like to pray the prayer of salvation? He said, you know what, yes, I actually would like to do it. And so we went through it together. So he's, he's looking forward to being contacted in a few weeks' time. So. Well, I was out on the streets, I was out in Sucky Hill Street, and I went a lovely elderly gentleman, and I was talking to him, and he was quite open with what I was talking about. I was just asking him, um, um, I'll tell him that God's got an awesome plan for his life, and he just smiled, and but he was quite, you could see that he was warming up to what I was saying. And I brought, when I brought out the script, he says, oh, is that your prompt card? And I went, no. I said, but I'm reading the script, and I want to make sure I get it right for you. So I read the scripture and then asked him if he'd like me to pray for him and he was quite happy to do that. And then at the end of that, I asked him if he would like to ask Jesus into heart and he said he'd be delighted and we went through the sinner's prayer with him. We brought him down North Frederick Street and a gentleman approached us and we told him who we were. And he came up and he says, I was expecting me to come here. We asked him would he accept Jesus into his life and the answer was yes. We prayed the prayer over him. Very, very happy. His brothers are born again Christian and he's going to come to your church tomorrow. I asked her if I could touch her shoulder and I felt her trembling a bit as well. And so we just prayed with her and we talked to her about what she'd done. And we said, would you like to say the prayer of salvation? And she, yeah, she said she'd like to say the prayer. And she said the prayer. She got the best news to tell you that you've just given your life to Christ and your sins are forgiven and God's got an amazing plan for your life. And would you like someone to meet you for coffee and tell you about this? She said yes. And then she took out, she said she would fill it out herself. She took out the card and she filled out her details. It's a desperate example of what happened.